Alright, it is 7.50 a.m. here at the West Nile, a.k.a. Mosquito Creek Hostel Trailhead, and it is a chilly morning. It's minus 21 right now with a fat temperature inversion happening. It was minus 26 in Lake Louise just a few minutes down the road. That's Connor cheering. We're excited to finally get an attempt in on a line that I've had my eye on for two years now called the Granddaddy Couloir, which is up above the West Nile ski slopes. Uh, conditions don't really get so good so often, and so when you do get that green brick in the bulletin and good weather, it's worth giving it a shot. Either I'm slow or these guys are fast because I'm falling behind today. But I've warmed up since the parking lot. Toes and fingers are back in service and the views are incredible. Just broke out of the trees and just got our first bit of sun for the day. And it's already feeling much warmer than it was down at the minus 21 parking lot. We have a view of the base of the couloir, but we can't quite see up it yet because it cuts off to the left into the mountain. So once we start our way up, we should get a nice view up there. Connor did a bunch of research last night. He's gonna get some nice photos for us. Brennan's over here enjoying nature. And Rex says it's beautiful, and it sure is. We're nearing the base of the couloir now. See behind me there's the rock pillar that blocks the entrance. Makes for some really nice photos once you're just above it inside the couloir. But the weather is so, so good. There is not a cloud in the sky and not a tiny bit of wind. The couloir, we made it. There's another party about halfway, a little higher than halfway up. Connor is going to send it up first Woo! with his ice tool. Brand new ice tool. And don't know how to use it. Gonna... You haven't even gone anywhere. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's just <laughs> excited. <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, that helps. Thanks. Okay. Oh yeah, you really see the steepness of the cottage right there. Packing's a lot of work. 
very thankful at this moment for Connor's pencil ride. Rack, ski pole, ski pole. And my leg is shaking. Cuff down. And this is my second ski pole because the other one is at the bottom. You guys see an orange pole? Excellent line that was. Certainly the most sandy line I've ever skied. Same with everybody else in the group, I believe. All right, Granddaddy Cool Wars is officially complete. I'm gonna put it as a gram though, so it's not complete. Oh, true. And I didn't Strava it, so I guess it doesn't count. Enjoying the sunshine, having our lunch. How'd those photos turn out, Connor? And it was a shorter day than we anticipated. It only took four hours to get up and down to here. Felt very exposed on the way up, but the second the skis go on, it's pretty comfy. But the riding quality was bad. And we just saw some guys who went up to the very top and they said that the very top was even worse, even more thin, more terrible. icy, more rocky. Good spot to turn around then halfway. You know Come on, pull hard. Come on. Come on, wingspan. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You ready for this? You ready for this? 